So I, and this is uh, uh, what you've said, uh, people uh, will really begin to understand. Now, when you lived uh, in the 19th century uh, in England, it was a great empire, it had colonies, it had the Indian Empire, and, uh, it was the largest uh, colonial power on earth. And um, when you lived uh, at that time, uh, you, Mr. Scrooge, were what you were earlier saying, an elitist yourself. You were rich and uh, had all the advantages of being rich. And then later when the conversion came, you became rich in heart, intellectually, but you remained an elitist. Now, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the human aspect of this, because that is, everything comes down to that, the Buddha has said over and over again, and this is very really important right now, that what, what destroys us right from the beginning and therefore get rid of it is the superego, the superego. What also destroys us is hubris, greed. Now these are the things that he says you must start every single individual getting rid of. So I think that in the context of what is happening, this is, has to be done, otherwise it will just be the same thing uh, in, a, in a different uh, cyclical, cyclical manner where millions will suffer and a few elitists here, there or everywhere will... Uh, so I think Education is important, education is important, education is important. But who is there who is ready to give that education? Who is there to get us out of the mindset of the nation state? My country right or wrong, my mother drunk or sober. And as you came to realize, Mrs. Scrooge, when your conversion came out, uh, came about, that in the end, Human relationships matter. Right. Now, uh, how do you, uh, what would you say to, you are now talking to people here, what would you say to them? Uh, I guess what I would say to them is for the economic and political system we are currently living under to uh, survive, prevail, um, it's based on fear. It's based on the concept of scarcity. There's not enough. You got to get yours at the cost of somebody else. Well, when these systems tumble down, which they are in the process of crumbling, what is going to arise are, are people that will realize that they must work with others in order for themselves to survive. And I think what we will see, and again this gets back to a, 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 a local economy, when, when, when neighbors are dealing with neighbors, um, that all of a sudden we will realize that fear is unnecessary. I mean, we live in, um, we still live in the Garden of Eden. We only think we didn't, you know, think we don't. And that thinking is the, is the fear. Uh, I have done extensive research for over 20 years, and I know that everything that we need for life, liberty, and happiness for everyone already exists. 